Hello and welcome to the 18th and Queen stage of Giro d'Italia 2020. It's a mountain epic today as we head to the Stelvio National Park in the Dolomites with almost 5,500 metres of climbing in the 207 kilometre route as the riders will head out of Pinzolo and immediately up onto the first climb of the day. Then we've got the Paso Castrin. Above, then we've got the mighty Stelvio, 24 and a half kilometers long. And they'll reach the top of what's the Cimacopi, highest point of this year's Giro d'Italia with just a smidgen under 38 kilometers remaining of the stage. And then up that final climb, Torri di Fraele. Meanwhile, Omen behind hits. The, oh, Almeida's gone again. Almeida starting to crack here. Huge efforts going in from Joao Almeida. And it's a long, long way to the top here. We knew these attacks were coming today. And for Joao Almeida, it is a crisis time. Can he possibly get back on board? He's not going to get any assistance here. Fulsang and Nibali are being distanced. And Nibali, the three-time three -time winner of this event, is uh, desperate to try and hang on. Kelderman is in his own little crisis. He's in a world of hurt because Jai Hindley is equal to the pressure being applied by Rowan Dennis as uh, Theo Gegenhart sits in the wake of his team, Ineos Grenadiers uh, teammate. And Hindley is able to follow this pace, but can he follow it through to the top of the climb? <laughs> Make sure he can zip up that, uh, that jacket. It's not going to happen anytime soon. And all sorts of wardrobe malfunctions here for the young Australian. And that's, that's frustrating, he's still not on. He's going to have to try and get as low as he can, Hindley. Protect that chest because it's completely exposed. Both of the Ineos Grenadiers rider, Dennis and Teo Gagan Hart, are fully up. They're fully zipped up and nice and warm. Now it's Teo Gagan Hart who's going to propel himself into a shot at uh, overall glory today. Has he got what it takes to overhaul his uh, disadvantage to Wilco Kelderman? They're going to need to work very, very hard indeed as Kelderman decides, you know what, I'm just going to take this off. He throws it off. Oh, there you go, that's gone. That'll be a souvenir. I thought he might have just been able to just stuff it up his jersey and actually protect his chest. I've, I've done that before. I had a cape that I couldn't actually get on. And rather than dispensing with it, just sticking it up the front. Well, this valley road, as you can see, it's rising upwards and he's losing time straight away. You can just tell the gradient there just by the virtue of what, what he's riding on, on, from a gearing perspective. He's on the big ring, but look how hard the block he is as we hit 15 kilometres to go and he's shipped. He's shipping time quite quickly now. There's a few bonus seconds on offer here. Gagan Hart picks them up. That's three. You know what, Hindley actually only got the one there. Yeah. And that was uh, perhaps a lack of uh, attention from, uh, from Jai Hindley. And uh, more conversation now. Is he looking for an assistance? Would it make any difference? What's that about? Yeah, Gamesmanship or are they mates? Yeah, but if they, if they started to ride really, really hard together, they, they would move even further clear. But it would be Teo Gagan Hart then that uh, could possibly take the Malia Rosa. So there's no way that Jai, Jai Hindley, or that you can't also blame Teo for having a word with him. You might as well ask him, you might as well try. Up inside the final 150 metres, Hindley comes for off the wheel. Off Teo Gegenhardt is a fine finisher. It's gonna be really close. Looks like Hindley could have enough in hand. They'll race it all the way to the line, but Hindley gets his arms in the air. He gets a glorious stage 18 victory. It's gonna be extremely close as to whether he actually gets into that pink jersey. He rides it all the way to the line. And by the skin of his teeth, Wilco Kelderman will ride into pink. We'll uh, get the stopwatches tight, working no, out. Tight. <laughs> There's confirmation of the stage results at the conclusion of stage 18 with a uh, great victory for Jai Hindley ahead of Teo Gagan Harpeo Bilbao in third of 46 seconds. Fulsang Kelderman, Conrad Almeida, former uh, leader of the race, seventh on the hill ahead of Nibali Pernsteiner and his teammate Fausto Masnada. Jai, you couldn't have chosen a better stage for your first Grand Tour stage. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I was just saying before, it's, it's such a, such a beautiful stage today and, uh, it's such epic climbs and, yeah, I'm just over the moon to get the win. Uh, take us through the last few hundred meters. Yeah, I knew, uh, I knew Taylor was going to ride all the way to the line to try to get as much, uh, time as he could. And, yeah, the, I was told to sit on him and not do any any work, which I did because I knew Wilco was most likely going into the jersey. So, yeah, and I saw the opportunity to take the stage and I took it. But could you have dropped Tao at some stage? 
Uh, I think he was pretty strong. He's also climbing uh, at a really high level here, and uh, yeah, he's, like he's shown, he's been super impressive. And yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't our tactic for me to go solo, and yeah, I followed the plan and I got the stage, and I'm really happy with that. Well, there's the overall standings, and there's confirmation that Wilco Kelderman will wear pink into tomorrow's stage. Jai Hindley, his teammate, makes it two Sunwebs in the top two. Uh, Theo Gagan Hart is within touching distance, just 15 seconds back. Bill Bow is fourth, and Almeida slips to fifth. 216 in arrears. Fulsang Conrad Nibbly actually loses a position remarkably. Uh, Masnada up to ninth. Pernsteiner will be tenth at the conclusion of stage 18. Wilco, it looks like a, a day of a lot of suffering for this Malia Rosa. Oh, it was a crazy day. Super hard. Uh, the hardest day of my life, I think. Oh, man. Uh, it was a big fight. And, uh, yeah, it could be any better for us with Jai uh, with the stage win and me in, uh, in pink. Were you always aware of the time gaps? Yeah, most of the times, yes. Uh, I knew that it will be close, but I got it, so I was happy. And you were pedaling with the Malia Rosa in mind? Was that the motivation? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, we dropped on Maida already quite early on the Stelvio. And uh, then it was just a race on... He nails was super strong with two guys. So uh, I couldn't hold with them. So for me it was just a race for myself behind them. 15 seconds lead over Tao Gegenhardt. What do you think? Yeah, we'll see. I'm happy with today and uh, recover, make plans, and then we see in the last days what happens. First time in his career, and he takes over that pink jersey that João Almeida has worn with such a plomb for the past 15 days. Will he be able to hold it through to the conclusion of Milan on Sunday? He'll enjoy the experience tomorrow on what should be a straightforward flat stage to Asti.